Hello, my name is Ryan and uh, welcome to the Data Analytics and Visualization Group. Uh, a short tutorial on plotting with R and Google Biz. Uh, we're going to take a few minutes and uh, have a look at the population of Canadian provinces um, and look at some data from 1971 uh, through 2013 and uh, show how easy it is to use Google Biz and R to uh, plot and animate them. Uh, so briefly in this tutorial, uh, we're going to have a very brief overview of R programming language. Um, there's other videos uh, in this area if you're interested, and also on the Google uh, Biz um, uh, library that goes with it. Um, we're going to talk briefly about the origin of data, um, which came mostly from Stats Canada, and then we'll do a, a short demonstration of that. Um, so to uh, begin with, let's go and have a look at R. This is R Studio, which sits on top of R. Um, what we're going to execute today is actually only a, a few lines of code, which is right here. Um, and um, the data sources that this is going to ingest are mainly from Stats Canada, and there was a, a Royal Bank of Canada economic report which pulled in together some data as well. Um, and um, with that, let's uh, let's get started. So we're going to load the Google Biz library. Uh, we're going to set a working directory in R, and we're going to read in this CSV file, which is the Canada Stats POP3 CSV. So I'm going to read that in right now. You can see over on the right-hand side here, we've just pulled it in. Uh, where that came from is right here. Um, and what we're going to be looking at simply today is this first little bit here. We've got from 1971 uh, through 2013, a uh, province-by-province um, population. And then I've gone and done a little bit of simple math here to uh, determine from year to year what the population change was in, in actual numbers and in percentage. There's also some other data over here on the side, uh, GDP per cap, revenues to GDP. We're, we're not going to um, go deep into that today. That'll be on a, another tutorial. So it's basically these um, data here. And we've got Alberta, and Newfoundland, and all the provinces that are in here. So that's what we've just ingested into the R programming language. Uh, we'll have a look at, we'll do head. So the, the name of the um, data group is called pop. So I'm going to look at the header of pop, and that's what it looks like in R, which looks very similar to what we just saw. <clears throat> a summary of the data here is um, R is very stats focused, so it'll let you know your median and mean and um, min max of all your numerical pieces are. Uh, but this is where the fun starts in by creating an element called motion. And we are going to run this uh, item here called GBiz motion chart um, on the pop data. And we're going to have focus on province and assign year as a time variable. So I'm going to run this line on line 15. Boom. Um, we've now got a value over here listed. And we're going to plot. And that's it. And let's have a look at what comes up here. So now this is um, Google Biz motion chart that we've just created. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to set, let's go really simple here. I'm going to set the population on the um, y-axis, population on the x-axis. I'm going to set the color uniquely by our province. You can see we've got Ontario here and Alberta here. Uh, and the size, let's make the size be population as well. And then we get access to all years going back to 1971. So you can see the slider on the bottom animates these over time. Uh, and I can deselect uh, Alberta, for example, and instead look at British Columbia and Quebec and move the slider over. Um, you know, I can deselect all over here in the tab. And if I wanted to look at Manitoba and Nova Scotia, let's do Ontario so they don't overlap. And then I can run the animation here. And you can see over time how this is changing. Um, if I wanted to make this a log, I can make a logarithmic. Uh, continue this. You can speed up or slow down the, the rate at which the animation happens with this little uh, slider here. Um, and yeah, so that's the uh, the bubble chart animation. And as you can see, there's only basically four lines of code. And and once you prepare the, the data in the right format, it's fairly robust. And it'll uh, let you, um, you know, choose your different variables here if you want to. On another tutorial, we'll look at GDP and other things. But uh, that's the population piece. Um, and just for grins, I'll change this. And let's have the y-axis be the population change on year-to-year, -year, and the x-axis is the actual 
our population. Let's have a look at uh, um, how these look. Uh, let's make this log. All right, and let's have a look at how this looks. So you can see over time the changes on the x-axis are the growth of the provincial populations and the bobbing up and down on the y-axis is the year-to-year -year population changes. You can see Manitoba and um, uh, looks like 73, 74 actually had a drop in population. Uh, BC's growth pattern. Um, what I might do is I'll have, let's have a look at Alberta here because I think that might be an interesting one to watch, especially in later years with the uh, uh, booming economy. So let's rewind here. Let's watch Alberta. And you can turn on and off these trails as well if you don't want them to create these um, follow, following the trails. But let's have a look at Alberta here from 71 through to uh, 2013. Through the 80s and the 90s. You can see some pretty consistent uh, population growth year to year on the order of sort of 50 to 70,000 coming into 2000 for Alberta. Growth getting uh, approaching 3.5 to 4 million. Uh, some good growth. Now we're in 100,000 per year growth up to 2010, 2011, 28, and over 100,000 a year. So the final data point for Alberta there um, is over 100,000 per year growth and, and getting over uh, 4 million, which if we go back and look here, uh, that's the data point we see. So that's the uh, animated bubble chart. You can see how easy that was. And we can look here. Um, we've got the bar chart. We've also got sort of classical graphs here if you wanted to um, look at it in a uh, standard line graph. These are pretty cool, the uh, bar graphs. Again, we can watch the same sort of change. We can uh, Let's order these by population, which will put Ontario at the left-hand side, and the change year to year from here. And then we can watch what happens on the um, uh, charts as well. So again, the y-axis is the year-to-year -year change, um, and the x-axis is uh, overall uh, population size. Um, then again, we can change this if we want to absolute population rather than population change, um, and watch that move. Um, it's much more interesting for the um, Atlantic provinces, the smaller provinces of below a million, to have this on a log chart. If you have this on a linear, um, you don't see much movement there. You can obviously see how um, they're relatively small relative to Ontario and Quebec. Um, so that is uh, a demonstration of uh, our programming language and Google Viz, and to see how with a little bit of data from Stats Canada and a couple of lines in Google Viz uh, uh, using GViz Motion Chart, uh, how you can create your own graphics like this. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you found it interesting.